I got a new journal, a nice small tiny one. So I've been working in board books, which I enjoy. Um, and they're starting to like, I don't even think I can close them. Anyway, I wanted to try something different. I tried the Dilutions, but it's too big. It's like this big, bulky thing. And my papers never seem to be big enough. And then I, I, I'm not happy with my collage because it seems a little too cluttered or something. So I wanted to work tiny and I want to work fast. I want to work fast at least in my journal. And I want it to be convenient also so that I can do this at home, maybe with a glue stick or, you know, some papers that I might have at home. So I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, watch as I put my first spread. I had done like a little single page that I'm not thrilled with, but this is my first spread and I'm very happy with this one. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, in lieu of a big journal, I got myself a little baby <laughs> um, brick. It's called the Brick Mixed Media by Soho. And I love the weight of the paper. I love how they, they, they lay flat. Like, look at that. The way it's stitched lays completely flat. So, and I, and I can see, you know, but part of this I, I did mostly with... Um, glue stick and um, but today I'm going to use gel medium and we're just going to do probably a spread so I want to do a little bit of neutral but I also love this paper so I have this piece that was left over from last week's and I think well it doesn't fit all the way across but I could use part of it And definitely I want to use parts of this and maybe kind of move it around, jumble it around. And then I'm going to try to find something that will also go with this. So I have this paper, which was just a cleanup sheet, I think. I don't know what this was. Um, I don't know. But I also have... I don't know if these colors go. They don't really... No, that doesn't work. I might use a little bit of that. And... Oh, 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 these colors go nice. And maybe instead of this, I do this. So I'm just going to cut up some, some strips. And then we'll take it from there. So this this paper is appealing to me for two reasons. It has a little bit of expected color from me, unexpected color, some neutral stuff going on. This is definitely, this dark, dark green is definitely different for me. Um, so I like how it's a combination of expected and unexpected and a lot of grunge. A lot, a lot of grunge. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use this, but I want to create a spread just from these like couple of papers. Thank you. 
I'm gonna get the glue stick. I'm gonna get my cutting mat. So now that I have this little tiny book, I should probably get a tiny mat. <laughs> this one's way too big. But um, I think it'll be nice to have a tiny one. Okay, so these scraps we're probably gonna use and I'm still, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here, but we'll, we'll do something. Um, this is definitely going to get anchored over here. But I even love, this is like a beautiful piece. Also, I'm going to square off both ends because I think I'm going to, use both ends of this eventually. Okay. But we will start by anchoring this side. <clears throat> and then I think this is going to go over it. I don't know. Or should it go this way? No, nope, better that way. And then, but I might need this little piece under here. And 
And then we're gonna need something here. I'm not sure yet. But the other thing I could do that carries that over. I think that might be better. And then maybe we can use a piece of this over here. Okay, let's keep moving. This is supposed to be a 10 minute. I think I've already gone longer than that. So this is just packing paper from a, from a delivery I received. I decided to keep it for purposes like this so I don't waste good paper. I might also try to print on it. a little bit too much white. Let's get all the way to the corner. Definitely prefer gel medium over this glue stick. I don't know why I'm being lazy today, but save this piece because I think I'm going to need it. Let me cut it now. It has glue on the back. I want to make sure. Okay, I'm already overthinking this. The whole purpose of this is to not overthink. To work quickly. To use just a couple of pieces. papers. Okay, so I definitely use, want to use a piece of this. I think up here. And this I might have to use gel medium for to really get this to work properly. I kind of like the wrinkle. I want to keep the wrinkle. I'm going to see if I could do that, but anyway, the other piece, I think, oh yeah, I get more, I get less glue on my fingers with gel medium than I do with a glue stick. This is crazy. All right. For some reason, my hair is now all over everything. I'm 
All right, let's try dull medium over here. Okay, so this ended up not working. My gel medium was way too thin. I needed like a heavier body one, um, which I didn't have at this time. So I ended up abandoning this uh, potato sack idea, although I love the way that looks. I really do, but anyway, it just wasn't working. So we move on. All right, we'll put something else there. Again. Well, definitely because this is transparent, I want to use the gel medium. I made that mistake last week. So this is paper from, you know, patterns. disappears the way deli paper does. gel medium better you know just do and this paper seems to be able to handle it okay all I have to do is trim it up and I'm done All right, so um, it's finished. I think I left like the left side more than the right side. Right side just got a little too busy for me. Um, I thought maybe I should have like trimmed this back a little bit. I don't know, but I need some negative space for me. Um, I think it's also better design in my in my opinion. On this side, we even have some some more subtle stuff in here. So, and that kind of blends nicely with this. So I'm very, very happy with the way this came out, but I, for some reason, this almost went transparent over here on this piece of paper, which was not deli paper. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out why, but maybe it's just an optical illusion. But this side I love. I don't hate this side, I just don't love it. <laughs> This is a nice little book. You can do quick collages and, you know, do them on a regular basis. I tried the glue stick. Now this is the second time and I'm, I'm sorry. I prefer my gel medium. That's just me. So leave me a comment below and tell me which journal you like to work in. This one, I'm very happy with the quality of the paper. It's not warping, they're not sticking together, everything lays flat. I'm very happy with this. Anyway, don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.